Hi, hello and welcome back. Now, in this video, we will talk about daily aptitude day 11 solution. We will talk about this video. So, regularly, we will follow our channel on our channel. Daily aptitude, daily programming videos. But, we will talk about this video. Because, if you talk about this video, you will talk about this video. So, if you talk about this video, you will talk about this video. So, in the email, we will solve the videos in person So, we will plan the videos in the time delay So, let's talk about the topic of ratio and proportion So, we will talk about the ratio and proportion So, the ratio and proportion is one of the three important questions that we will talk about So, what question is we will upload the app So, how do we solve the solution in the easy shortcut method We will talk about the easy shortcut method So, we will talk about the easy shortcut method in the easy shortcut method if you want to subscribe to our channel, please click the subscribe button. So, let's go to the video. So, we have the first question. So, two numbers are respectively 20% and 50% more than a third number. The ratio of the two numbers is, we have the question. So, if you have two numbers, you can see that 20% and 50% more than the third number So, if you look at the two numbers involved, the third number is the proportion of the third number So, if you look at the ratio of the third number, the third number is the ratio of the third number So, if you look at the two numbers, 20% and 50% more than the third number So, if you look at the third number, we can consider the third number So, if you look at the third number, the first number is the third number The first number is the third number, the second number is the third number So, if you look at the first number, we can see the first number is the third number So, if you look at the third number so 20% more than the third number X is 100% So 20% more than 120% So 120% So 120% more than the first number Number can't be put in the middle of the number So first number is 0 0 cancel So 2 6 are 2 5 are So 6 by 5 X You can see the first number is 0 0 cancel So 2 6 value பாதிக்கு நான்று நம்மில் கடைச்சிருக்கு so இது பாதிக்கு நான் 2 numbers 20% 50% is more than the 3rd number so இந்த 2 numbers கு காமணாம் உன்குடுதுக்கு கடைத்திருக்கு 3rd number குடுதுக்காங்க so அது பேச் பணி பாதிக்கு நான் நம்ம் அந்த 1st number and 2nd number கண்டுப்படிக்கும் அதுக்கப் பிரும் அது வச்சி பாதிக்கும் Okay, so now we have to see the ratio of these two values. So, 6x by 5 divided by 3x by 2. Okay, so if you look at the ratio, you can solve it. If you look at the denominator, it is most similar to the denominator. So, if you look at the two values, you can use LCM. Okay, so LCM is cross multiply. So, if you look at the 12x is equal to 15x, you can use the denominator. So, if you look at 12x is to 15x, you can do the cross multiply. So, now we have to simplify the ratio in a simplified form. So, x is the value of x, so x is the value of x. Because if we look at the two numbers, we can do the ratio. So, if we multiply the ratio, we can do the ratio in a simplified form. So, if we look at the ratio in the ratio, we can do the ratio in the ratio. So, if we look at the ratio in the ratio, 4 is to 5 அப்படின் சொல்லிக்கிறேன் so 4 is to 5 தான் பாத்திக்கிறேன் வண்டு answer for the first question so second question பாத்திக்கிறேன் வந்து ரும்பவே simple ஆன question தா so a sum of money is to be distributed among A, B, C and D in the proportion of 5 is to 2 is to 4 is to 3 if C gets rupees 1000 more than D what is B share அப்படின் சொல்லியும் கேட்டுக்கிறேன் so 4 பேர் ஓட ratio பாத்திக்கிறேன் வண்டுக்கு So, 5 is to 2 is to 4 is to 3 அப்படின் சொல்லிக் குடுத்துடாங்க C குண்ட D குவருக்கு difference பாத்திக்கிறேன் உன் சொல்லியிருக்காங்க So, C gets 1000 more than D So, D ஏ விடைப் பாத்திக்கிறேன் C வந்து A இருப்பா வந்து அதிகமா வந்து வாங்கிறாம் So, அப்பு B is ஓட share என்ன அப்படின் சொல்லி பாத்திக்கிறேன் உன் கேக்கிறாங்க So, if we have a ratio, we will consider it. So, we will multiply x in. So, if we have the lowest formula, we will do it. So, 5x is to 2x plus 4x is equal to 3. So, 
is to 3x. So, this is the ratio of the ratio. We have to look the x format. That's why we have to look at the x. So, c gets 1000 more than d. So, this is the x value. So, c gets 1000 more than d. So, c and d is the difference. So, 4x minus 3x equal to 1000. Then, x value is the same. So, 1000 is the same. So, x value is the same. So, x value is the same. So, b is the same. So, b is the same. So, b is the same. So, x value is the same. So, 2 into 1000. So, 2000 is the same. b is the same. So, 2000 is the same. Correct answer for the second question. So, now, the last question is the same. So, seats for mathematics, physics and biology in a school are in the ratio 5 is to 7 is to 8. There is a proposal to increase these seats by 40%, 50% and 75% respectively. What will be the ratio of increased seats? So, starting with the ratio, you will have the initial ratio of the initial ratio of Max, Physics and Biology. So, 5 is to 7 is to 8. So, increase the percentage value. So, increase the percentage. 40%, 50% and 75% respectively. So, if you increase the ratio of these 3 subjects, what do you want to do with the ratio of these 3 subjects? So, this is a simple question. So, how do we express the ratio of these 3 subjects? The previous question is about. So, 5 is to 7 is to 8 is 5x plus 7x and 8x. So, that's it. And increase 40% of these 3 subjects. So, we will look at the previous question. So, 40% is more than, that's the first question we have to do. So, 40% is more than, we have to do 140% of our number. So, same, that's the first and first question. We have to do the combination of the question. So, number of increased seats, we have to do the number of increased seats. So, 140% of 5x. Because 40% is increased. So, this number is total 100%. So, 100% is increased. 40%. So, 140% of 5x. That's 150% of 7x, 175% of 8x. So, this is a simple equation. So, if you derive this, you can solve it easier. So, now you can solve it. So, 140 divided by 100 into 5x is to 150 divided by 100 into 7x is to 175 divided by 100 into 8x. Okay, so this is the answer. So, in this equation, you can solve the answer. 2 is to 3 is to 4. So, this is the answer. So, this is the final number in simplified format. So, this is the answer. So, if you cancel it, Excel is the answer. If you have a denominator, then the previous question is the cross multiply. So, the same pattern you can use in the simplified form. You can use the final answer. 2 is to 3 is to 4. So, this is the final answer. So, this is the answer for the last question. So, if you have any questions in the last question, so, if you like this video, please like this video. So, if you like this video, please like this video. So, if you like this video, please like this video. So, if you like this video, please like this video. If you like this video, please like this video. If you like this video, please like this video. If you like this video, please share this video. So, if you like this video, please share this video. If you like this video, please share this video. If you like this video, please share this video. So, if you like this video, please share this video. So, if you like this video, please share this video. So, if you like this video, please share this video. Bye, take care.